Dang it. Oh, I'm so frustrated. Dang it. Hey guys, as you can tell, I'm pretty upset. Come on, let's go. I'm so sick of these shoes. I'm so sick of the way they look. Hey everybody. Um, how's your day going, I guess? Or whatever. Would you just look at these shoes? Would you just look at them? Would you just look at how gross they look? They're all beat up and dirty. Oh, man, I can't stand them. You know, I'm back at school and all my friends have new shoes. It's, oh, it's so annoying because everybody has new shoes and they're walking around with their new shoes. And I'm stuck here with these beat up old nasty shoes. Oh man, it's so infuriating. Man, I just wish I had their shoes. I wish I had their shoes. And you know what the worst part is? Hold on. I'm, I'm getting a phone call. Hello? Oh, hey, what's up, Noah? How you doing, bro? How's it going, bro? How's it going? You want me to tell you how it's going? It's not going good, bro. It's not going good. My best friend has some new shoes, and I want them. They look so much better than mine. I don't even want to talk to him right now. I'm so upset. Goodness. These shoes are so ugly, Big Steve. Look how gross they look. Can you see all the dirt? Oh my goodness, it makes me so upset. Oh man, man, there's a lot of negativity going on. You're being kind of a little negative Nancy, so if we could just, I don't know, take a step back and uh, tell me what's going on, bro. All right, man, so here's what happened. I was at school, first day back, I got these shoes on, didn't get any new shoes this year, and all my friends have new shoes, bro. Like, I'm talking brand new, like fresh, clean, out the box. And I'm stuck here with these, and they haven't said anything about it, but I know, I just know that in their head, they're like, eh, look at those ugly shoes. I don't want to talk to them right now, man. Like, my best friend even has some new shoes on, and they're so much nicer than mine, and I want them, bro. I don't want these shoes, I want his shoes. And I don't even want to talk to him right now. Oh, okay, yeah, no, man. I get that, I do, I do, that makes sense, but, you know, you wouldn't be coming to me if you didn't want to hear stories, so let me just tell you a story real quick. All right, bro, so check it out. There was this dude named Joseph. And, you know, Joseph was was kind of just a regular dude. He was, he was a brother. Uh, he was a son, obviously. So he was the third of the three brothers. He was the youngest brother. And for some reason, because he was the youngest brother, he was his dad's favorite. And we're not talking about just kind of like, I don't know, a little favorite. Like we're talking about when all the brothers are out doing chores, like Joseph got to come and sit down and drink some water or something. And Joseph got all these extra breaks. And, and you know, that stuff kind of isn't fair, but really wasn't Joseph's fault because his dad kept letting him do it. So all of a sudden his brothers get really, really upset and they're like, Yo, why does Joseph never have to do any of the work? And Joseph's like, I don't know, bro, but I'm hungry, so I'm gonna go eat. And then he ate first. And that wasn't really sitting that good with all of his brothers. And then one day, the Bible says, Joseph got an awesome coat. And you know, I'm not talking about like a winter coat. Uh, back in the Bible days, coats are kind of what signified family and it would protect them from the sun rather than keep them warm. But all the coats were basically the same, except for Joseph's. The Bible says that when his dad gave Joseph his coat, it was a coat of super colors and it made him stand out. And not only did it make him stand out, it made him stand above all of his brothers who all have the same coat. So just picture like you and all your boys, you walk in to a store and like your two boys look the same and all of a sudden you look fresh, man. You look brand new, you look bright. Well, everybody comes up to you and starts telling you how awesomely dressed you are. Well, that was Joseph with his coat and that made his brothers so angry, but made it this kind of special angry, a little bit of a different, angry. The Bible says that his brothers got jealous. They got jealous over something that they couldn't help. They actually got jealous over something that Joseph couldn't help because 
the coat was given to Joseph. So it wasn't even like Joseph was trying to rub something in his brother's faces. His dad gave him a present. He started wearing it. And his brothers got so mad at Joseph just for simply wearing a coat that was given to him. And the Bible says they got so angry. They got so jealous. They started to resent. They started to be mean to Joseph simply because of the coat and simply because of the way that his dad treated him compared to his brothers. And then it says they started to hate Joseph. Can you imagine that? We should never hate anyone, let alone something as silly as being jealous. But that's what it says that happened. They started to hate Joseph. Big Steve, that's a cool story and all, but it really doesn't apply to me, man. I'm talking about shoes. No, bro, don't you see? They didn't necessarily care what they had. They just wanted what Joseph had. And they started forgetting everything that God gave them. They had a coat of their own. They had food of their own. They had a house of their own, but they still wanted what Joseph had. Don't you see the relation, man? Like you, you want your friend's shoes, but don't you already have shoes? Don't you already have clothes? Don't you have food? Don't you go to sleep in a bed with a roof over your head and wake up and get to put clothes on? But for some reason, you're forgetting about what God has already given you and you're starting to covet. That's what the Bible calls it, to covet or want what your friend has. You want your friend's shoes. Joseph's brothers wanted Joseph's coat and they started forgetting and you are starting to forget everything that God has already provided. You know what, Big Steve? You're right, man. Um, so how do I fix this? Great question, buddy. The first thing you should probably do is start letting go of that jealousy, man, because jealousy is only going to lead to bad choices. You see, with Joseph's brothers, they started hating his brother. They started planning bad things against his brother. And that all stemmed from the jealousy. For you, when you said you didn't even want to be friends with your friend anymore, just because of the shoes he has, that's crazy, man. And that's a bad choice. Jealousy can lead to bad choices. So first and foremost, man, let go of the jealousy. And second, start being thankful for what God has already given you, man. Start being thankful for the shoes that you have. Start being thankful when you get to put clothes on and walk outside in the beautiful sun. Start focusing on what you have and less about what your friends have. And maybe you can even be happy that your friends have cool stuff. That would be really cool. And last, bro, let me know how it goes for you, all right? You know what, Big Steve? You're right, man. You're right. I'm gonna do it, but I can't do it alone. So you know what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna pray to God to ask him to remove my jealousy because I know that if I try to do it myself, there's no way. Like I'm too jealous and I'm too upset. So I have to pray and ask God for his help. So would, would you guys pray with me? Awesome, come on, let's do it together. Dear Lord, I pray right now that you would please take away my jealousy. Lord, please help me to focus on what I do have rather than what I don't. Please help me to focus on the fact that I do have shoes and clothes and a roof over my head and a way to get to school in the first place. Lord, I thank you for all that you give me. God, please help me to remove this bitterness and this anger. I pray all these things in your son's holy name. Wow, that worked. I feel so much better. Man, you know, when you pray and you ask God to remove something that he didn't want to be there in the first place, he really helps us out. Yeah, absolutely, man. So everybody go ahead and stand up with me and we are gonna do this big idea together. Today's big idea is jealousy can lead to bad choices. That's right, I want all of you guys to make good choices. So jealousy can lead to bad choices. On the count of three, let's go ahead and say it together. In one, two, 
three, jealousy can lead to bad choices. Good job, everyone. I'm gonna go back and stop being jealous and start being a better friend. I hope you guys learned as much as me today. And remember, jealousy can lead to bad choices.